bringing that muck in here? It's only clay, madam. I'm a sculptor. Sculptor? Well, that's just an excuse for getting women to get their clothes off. Those women, as you call them, are mothers. You're not coming in here until you pay the rent you owe me? But everything I own is in that room. Get out! Get out before I call the police! <laughs> Walls. Covering the halls in your beautiful plaster. Hmm. I hope you are not having a party. Oh, absolutely not, madame. You know my rules about the noise? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. You were saying... My rules about the noise. Yes, we know. Thank you. Please, Miss Rebecca, you're supposed to be wheeling in the Passport chair. Passport 2, I'm perfectly capable of walking upright. But the doctor Actually, said that I you... don't give a damn what the doctor said. Ah, Rebecca. Demure and ladylike as always. I've just been showing Hugo Paris from the air. So I can admire all the fine buildings he's designed. It's the architect's curse to see only the flaws. I intend to remedy them. Well, it all looks pretty perfect to me. Paris is anything but perfect, Miss Fogg. Filthy streets, disease-ridden slums. Future generations will be shocked to know that we lived in such squalor. Mind you, anyone. You sound exactly like Jules Verne. Jules Verne? Who was he? Well, he must be the only man in Paris whose ideas are as vast and complicated as yours. Well, I'd like to meet him. Well, you shall. We're seeing him tonight. It's his birthday. Should be a hell of an experience for you. Well, that's interesting. What is it? Oh, this is how I see the city of the future. Big, beautiful buildings made of glass and steel and copper. Full of light, streamlined and spacious, with no dark corners for evil to hide in. Evil will always find a place to hide, my friend. In the future, cities will expand vertically, like so. Buildings will stretch into the sky. Looks like a lot of stairs to climb. Uh, but if we can harness the power of electromagnetism, 
We can take people from the ground to the highest floor in a matter of minutes. Imagine the view from up there. But you've already got the best view in Paris. Oh. Angelique, no wonder every artist in Paris wants her to pose. <laughs> Angelique! Uh, Jules wants to talk to you! Oh, no! Go, 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 go. Yes, I, I, I do! You sound like an idiot. Wait, 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 don't... No wonder you sleep alone. Thomas, another carafe. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid our little friend Jules here is hopelessly lost. He is in love with the divinely unattainable Angelique. Ah, unattainable for some. She posed for three of my pieces. <laughs> of course, she was your Madonna. And your nude, Venus, one of my personal favorites. <laughs> How can you talk about naked models when there's a monster loose in the streets? Oh, she, she has a point. This killer is costing me business. Nobody wants to stay late or get too drunk in case they meet him on the way home. Poor Madame Dupuis. May God have mercy on her soul. Wasn't she always trying to evict you? And locking you out if you weren't home by midnight? I have some respect for the dead. They don't charge any rent. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Isn't that mud under your nails? What else would it be? I'm a sculptor. How convenient. Your landlady dying so suddenly. Go to hell, Nadal. That's not funny. Oh, come on, Duval. It's just a joke. What an idiot. Thank you very much. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Madam. Nice, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, Michael. Very nice to meet you. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, they are stereoscopic, which I'm told is an excellent thing. Hello. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Rebecca. All right, what's she called? Angelique. <laughs> Just a neighbor. <laughs> and, um, is she pretty? <laughs> Beautiful. Lovely. Radiant. Sublime. <laughs> I was hoping she'd come tonight, but I... I guess she forgot. Hugo! Delighted you came, delighted! Can't meet to Verne. So Hugo Basil, Jules Verne and... Brigitte... Just so. I'm so sorry. Charming. Sir Hugo Basil, the architect. It's an honor to meet you, sir. I thought that uh, Sir Hugo might be interested in seeing some of your sketches, Vern. Now, now this one, for example, is wonderful. <laughs> Fascinating. What uh, materials do you envision? Mm, copper, glass, the taller buildings would have frameworks of steel. Mm, I'm impressed, Vern. I think I found a way to build a multi-story building that's both safe and stable. So have I, in fact. Sky's the limit. But there is one problem, isn't there? How to get to the top. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Which is why I've been working on this. An electromagnetic lift. Everybody, please. We are here for to honor the birthday day of our good friend, Master Jules Verne. Yeah. Yeah. For he's a very good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. Oh, Do go ahead. 
Oh, my God.